Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Today we're going to find out if my investment in two giant dried fridges is paying off or that you can get the same result with just a dry edge bag. A couple of months ago, I bought these beautiful dry edge cabinets. Absolutely gorgeous. High professional gear. They got every option you will ever need to dry any type of meat. But it was a big expense. And now I wanted to know if I did the right thing by buying these cabinets or that I can achieve the exact same result or maybe even better with just a dry edge bag. So to do this experiment, I have two of exactly the same tri-tips. One of them I'm gonna put in my dry edge cabinet. And the other one I'm gonna put in one of these dry edge vacuum bags. And that's a very easy process. You just slide one in, seal it with your vacuum sealer. And if you're looking for a real good vacuum, you're not gonna get it. These bags have a membrane. So that will allow them to expel moisture and actually allow the dry edge process. But once you got it sealed up, all you need to do is put it on a cooling rack and then place it in your ordinary fridge. Of course, there's an insane amount of cost difference between the two. The bag is gonna cost you around $10. And then the fridge, well, if you saw the video, you know that it cost me around three and a half thousand to 4,000 euros to get these cabinets. And that's excluding all the stuff that I put in, the electricity bill, everything. It's, like the cost is mind blowing. Normal people, I don't think they, would you buy one of these dry as cabinets more? No, oh, see, let's check them out. Let's see how they sit right now in the fridge. This is our tri-tip sitting in our dry edge fridge. And it looks horrible. To be honest, dry age meat, when it's dry aging, it looks like, it looks like it's, well, it looks like it's been sitting there dry aging. Brown, dark, dried out but the gold's on the inside. So this actually looks bad, but that means it's gonna be really, really good. Now, let me take you to the other one. This is my beer fridge. Well, it used to be until I ran out of space with meat and stuff like that and food things. So it's just a secondhand fridge and right there it sits. My beautiful dry age tri-tip and it looks actually it looks promising this looks really good let's take it to the table all right all right welcome jim thank you jim the editor hello everybody i'm back again follow jim on instagram oh that will be awesome that will be <laughs> awesome let's get this one out of the bag so we can do a fair comparison ava is very excited too yeah and when she's get it, when she gets excited it means it smells good oh that look at that looks Interesting. This is interesting. There's one thing I noticed straight away. There's a little bit of moisture on the outside of the uh, of the steak. It, 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 is that a good thing? A good thing? Yeah, feel the two. That's completely dry. Oh yeah, that one is. There's a little moisture. Has, and look, you, the, you really smell that one. The the one in the bag. You, yeah, it has an odor. Yeah. It's not a bad smell, by the way. That's a, like a, a typical dry smell, like a little acidity. Yeah. A little sour. There's also still movement here. Okay. Whereas the, it's like full, fully the cabinet. Burned. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> it could have been beef jerky. If you told me it's beef jerky. I want to measure these two and I want to figure out right. how much the weight difference is because when I put them in the cabinet, they were almost exactly the same. The dry edge from the cabinet is now 1.64 kilograms. All right, there we go. In the bag, 1.8. That's 200 so, grams so, more. Yeah, okay. So it didn't dry out. <laughs> oh, that's an insane difference. Yeah. That's a lot. Are you going to do the percentage? Yeah. And no. no, no. <laughs> Skip that. that. That's for the comments. That's you guys do the percentages. Our math. Yeah, it's not no. very good. <laughs> we went to school. Yes, we did. Did, did it help? No, nope. it didn't. Nope, <laughs> nope. So. Which one do you think is gonna taste better? I don't know, man. I got a strong feeling the one from the bag is gonna be juicier, but I also have a strong feeling the one that we dry it in the dry age cabinet is gonna have much intense, more intense flavors, okay. and it's gonna be more tender. Yeah. 
Uh, but there's only one way to find out. I'm going to trim these up. I'm going to start by trimming up the tri-tip from the dry edge cabinet. I want to start taking off the outside until I get to the red meat. So I'm just going to keep on slicing and there's no red meat. So I'm going to cut it in half and there's still no red meat. This is not good. I'm looking for the red meat, but it's completely gone. It all turned brown. A quick reminder, this comes from my extremely expensive dry edge cabinet. Now it's time for a dry edge bag. First, I'm gonna cut out a slice of the outside and wow, that's what I'm looking for. Nice dark red meat. This is it. So let's turn these two into steak so we can actually have a comparison. <laughs> this is a big difference and it, yeah. it's not making me happy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the, the thing is like, I spent all that money to get a dry edge cabinet and now the first experiment that we do compared it to something else, which is a $10 dry edge bag, mm -hmm. is so insane. The differences are insane. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Who wants to buy a dry uh, step? Who, who wants the gray one? No, dude, seriously, look at it. It's like, like it's completely brown in color, but if you like, if you smell it, it's like, there's almost no smell to it. Uh, but, it's completely but that, neutral. But that is kind of, yeah, that that's good, quite dude. good. That's a good sign. Yeah. It doesn't smell off when you got like, no. um, when you're dry aging and you get an off smell, then you know it's, it's, it's not good. The color, it means that the meat oxidized, but you don't actually want the meat to be oxidized on the inside. It's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> on the other hand. On the other hand, this, it has kind of like that sour smell, yeah, but it also definitely. has that beefy smell. But now that it's longer out of the bag, actually it turns like to more of a beefy smell and the sour smell uh, goes away. Yeah, the, the sour smell is like really on the, uh, the outside. Yeah, when it comes yeah. fresh out of the bag, you get that sour smell. It smells kind of good. Now it smells kind of yeah. good. And yeah. you got, would you still eat these? Yeah, I'm down to try it. <laughs> but if you go to a butcher shop, mm, which I'll one? choose this one, definitely. Yeah, and he had both of these and he says, well, like yeah. this comes from a 4,000 euro dry ice cabinet and this comes out of a $10 bag. Hmm, yeah, I'd rather choose the redder one. The, the $10 bag. The $10 bag. All right. But what is interesting though, is that the, the, the fat fibers are way more tense. If the color was red, <laughs> yeah. I would have definitely gone for the dry edge one because it feels a lot firmer too. Yeah. And this feels a lot less firm. So I'm really curious. Let's fire up the grill, Jim. Sounds good. Kamada Joe is up to temperature. I set it up for smoking at around 140 degrees Celsius. And now I'm gonna take my beautiful steak and I'm gonna put in a meter thermometer. Thank you, by the way. No Doing problem. A great job, Jim. Yeah, this thing is quite heavy. Dude, seriously, this is what you're gonna eat and you're complaining about oh, no. the weight uh, of the plank. I stopped complaining. The steak goes in and we're gonna let it smoke. The technique that I'm using is the reverse sear technique and I'm using the slow roller to do it. Now my steaks are done, so I'm taking the slow roller off and I'm opening up the bottom vent all the way and I'm going to let the heat come into my grill. I want real power and you can instantly see it in the charcoal. It's getting red hot and that's what we're going to need to sear these steaks off. Of course, if you have something beautiful, you want to present it well. So I plate it up with a little bit of gravy, a grilled king oyster mushroom, of course, that beautiful piece of steak, and some microgreens. A little bit of salt, and that's it. And now that we got all of this goodness here on the plate, 
we're gonna do the comparison. And I'm super excited about it, but at the same time, it scares me to death because what if my investment was a bad investment? This is so scary. I'm going to start with a dry aged cabinet in the taste test. There we go. It's, you know, it's got a, like everything we did to it tastes good. Like we got smoke flavor and then we seared it off. So we got a little bit of crust, but the tenderness is lacking. It's dry. It's like, it's not a nice juicy steak. Okay. That's quite interesting. It's. It's not a steak, but it has a really distinguished dry aged flavor. You don't get that awesome beefy flavor. I'm not happy with this result. If someone would present me with this steak, I would tell them like, what did you do to my steak? I like the dry aged flavor actually. I really like it. I'm not sure if it's completely filled. There's something to it, but okay, but it's not a steak. It's, it's not a steak. Now let's move on to the dry age in a dryer bag. There we go. Mm. Much, much better. Instantly, you get a more juicy steak, a tender steak, loads of beef flavor. More taste too. It's juicier. I don't know, the, um, the bags taste better. I'm not sure it's all about that, that dry age bag. It's just a really well done dry aged steak. I love it and it, it's like, it's the sort of steak you keep on eating and I, I need it with gravy as well. Insane. Hmm. This surprised me a lot. Insane. It like, I can't believe it. How big of a difference is this? Yeah. And like, ah man. And I, I'm sure it's me. I'm sure it's not the cabinet. I'm sure I gotta like, find the sweet spot, work on it, make it perfect. I'm 100% I'm, I'm yeah. sure it's me. But the, the thing with it is like, I kind of want it to be like fail safe. For that amount of money, it should be like, or it's like mm. a high professional It worked thing. too well. Like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I haven't tuned it in properly yet or it doesn't function the way it should be or I'm not experienced enough with it. So I'm really, I'm super excited about the one that came out of the bag. Yeah. It's awesome. It tastes great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess I got some work to do with mm. that dry agent. Yeah. I'm not giving up on it, that's for sure. Let's uh, keep eating. Yeah. yeah, you can eat. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then let us know by leaving a comment and uh, a big thumbs up. I wanna know about your thought process and, uh, and what you think we should do to make this better than it already is right now. So, uh, big thank you to our patrons. Big thank you to our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, together you guys could be like Age a marker. duet. And keep on grilling. That's right. That's a wasp. <laughs> That's okay. Hmm. I think they like dry aging too. They like steaks. Mm-hmm. Mm. They definitely, look at it.